Reef Bum is sponsored by Polo Reef, Champion Lighting and Supply, and GHL. Well, I, I'm actually, Sanjay is following me and he's starting to experiment a little bit. So for the last <laughs> two or three months, he's been experimenting with adding ammonia to his tank. Uh -oh. I've been doing now for six or eight weeks and we're both seeing pretty good results from what, in seeing his tank in October and seeing mine now, uh, I'm getting slightly faster growth as indicated by looking at the tanks, but also by faster calcium and alkalinity consumption. But we also found out that if you aren't managing your nitrates, they'll tend to bump up pretty quickly. So it, it, it's good because corals absorb, obviously absorb ammonia pro in priority more than they like nitrate. So that's what got Sanjay started it. But seeing his results, I decided to try it as well. So now we don't have just anecdotal. We have two guys that are crazy enough to try it. Sanjay, why did you start doing that? But again, just from reading some of the papers and the literature, uh, t you know, talking to some faculty here at Penn State, one of them is an expert on Zuzantelli, and we were having this conversation, and he said, oh, yeah, you know, we see it all the time in, the, in our experiments that the Zuzantelli will take ammonia first and then the nitrates. So I said, oh, what do you think if I start dosing ammonia instead of putting dosing nitrates? And he kind of... In, implied that it might be a good good idea. I did a little more research on it, on, at least on the internet, to see what the hobbies were doing. And I saw Randy Holmes Farley talking about it too. And he had a little recipe for dosing ammonia. And I said, you know, I'm just going to try it. I mean, I was dosing nitrates anyway. So I just switched that out. And I tried ammonium chloride first. And then I said, why am I putting chloride in there? when I could be putting hydroxide. So I put ammonia, so now I use ammonium hydroxide. And, you know, it's, I managed to keep my nitrates around three or four parts per million, which is way lower than what I've ever yeah. run my tanks, you know. But the corals are all happy. Uh, what? Uh, yeah, so. it's, it's seeing Sanjay's tank in October from seeing it in February, it was like night and day. I mean, the corals. Were well, I see it now. It'll be another night and day from they were, I mean, they were now. literally starting to grow out of the water like good old Sanjay's corals always were. They were vivid coloration. The dead spots had basically all been grown over. I mean, it was remarkable what six months. But you, how long have you been dosing the ammonia? Three months, four months? Yeah, about four months. Okay, yeah, I've been doing it six weeks or eight weeks. And I keep my nitrates a little bit higher at 15 because I was dosing them as well. And I, I've seen the same thing. I mean, the colors are popping, the corals are encrusting faster. And like I said, the uh, ammonia or the uh, alkalinity went up by about 30% consumption wise, and calcium went up by about 25% consumption wise. I can say that because I'm using dosers and I know how much I added before I started dosing the ammonia, and now it's bumped it up significantly. Well, basically, since we came on uh, two months ago to talk about ammonia, I've probably had 150 people contact me about dosing it. Uh, everything from this is, sounds like the greatest thing possible to I'm really scared to do ammonia because I don't understand what fish are secreting in the tank. So after everyone has done it, I've only had like three comments of people saying, I didn't really see much of a difference. Everyone else has seen uh, from their responses dramatic differences. I know Andrew Sandler was trying it at Polar Reef. Uh, one of your sponsors, and also who I'm going to be writing for from now on. And he said he increased his alkalinity by about 30% as a result of changing over to dosing ammonium. So on that size of tank, I can't imagine how much more <laughs> alkalinity he has to dump in to, to match up with dosing the ammonium. But uh, in the same thing, in my tank, I've seen a dramatic increase because I'm also doing that in combination with uh, Claude Schumacher of Fauna Marin's bolus dosing of uh, alkalinity and I've increased my alkalinity consumption by 30, 35%, my calcium consumption by 20%. So 
But the curious thing is, I've seen corals that were growing side by side and kind of fighting with each other actually fuse into one another in a couple of instances, something I had not seen before. So the growth rate has gotten so quick that rather than fighting, they're just growing together, which I think is a rather unique thing to see in my tanks because I've not seen that before. Corals seem to prefer ammonia over, over nitrate. Over nitrate. They consume yeah. it much faster. It's much more easily, for lack of a better term, digestible. It's consumed and converted with requiring less energy by the corals than nitrate is. Nitrate requires two reactions. Ammonia consumes basically one. So it's less energy consuming. So it's more nutritious for the corals. I don't recommend ammonia dosing if you just have like a dozen frags in the tank. It seems to work best when you have some decent amount of biomass and corals there rather than a small amount of frags. Then you bump up the nitrates. I've had a couple people do that where they were starter tanks and started doing ammonia trying to get the frags to grow faster. All they did was uh, bump up the nitrate levels and bump up the algae growth.